Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's fitness class. We are going to get started in just a moment. I want to give people a chance to get on the live video, and I also want to share it really quick. So if you're watching the replay, you can fast forward for probably a minute or two, and then you will have it. And I'm just going to share this before we get started. And then we will get going. So happy Tuesday. It's a nice sunny day out there here, at least in the Annapolis Valley, which is nice blue skies always make the day a little bit better. So I hope you are having some sunshine wherever you are. And as soon as I get this link and share it, we will be good to go. And I will remind you that Facebook is being a little bit weird and is not actually showing me comments all the time. So if you're saying, hi, I'm sorry if I'm not replying, it's because I cannot see it. <laughs> but I will reply when we get off the live stream here. Come on now. Post. And then I will get my music queued up. So once again, hello, if you're just joining, we are going to get started here in just a second. I've shared a playlist that you can use or choose not to use. It is a Spotify playlist. You can have a free Spotify account for any, well, anybody can have a free Spotify account is what I'm trying to say. Um, dismiss. Why can I never find the album when I get over here? It is absolutely ridiculous. Here we go. Here we go. There we are. All right. So I'm just going to get my music playing. You can start yours if you're going to use some music. And of course, the question of the day is, am I going to have a kitty? or not. It's a little bit bright in here. That's a little bit dark. Okay. We'll deal with it. So we march. So today you will need, in addition to a little bit of space to move around, you'll want to have a pair of weights. If you don't have any weights, get a couple of soup cans, a couple of water bottles full of water, something like that. Just something that has a little bit of weight to it. Standing nice and tall, abs engaged, shoulders relaxed. And I know the real question is, and there's the answer. There's the answer right there. <laughs> the real question is, are we going to have a gray cat? The answer is yes. <laughs> Four, three, two, let's go to a heel dig. So heel and heel. And we'll reach our arms back, a little tricep press. Hi, Rose. And we're going to take that to a toe tap. So reach the foot out, tap the toe, tap the toe, tap the toe. You just going to sit there and watch me? Four, three, two, we march. This microphone keeps hitting me in the face. Let's take it out a little bit wider. Back in. Take it out. And back in. And out. And we add a reach. Here we reach and reach. Then 
then take it across the front and we'll go right into a step touch so step together step together Once again, I'm going to encourage you, if you don't already have some music playing on in another browser tab, in another device, even turning the radio on makes a big difference. Let's take this into a hamstring curl. Four, three, two, we march. We're going to walk it up and back right here. Come up, two, three, clap, back, two, three, clap, up. And back. I'm making my steps super tiny, so I stay within this frame. But if you have lots of room, use it. Up, two, three, and back. Two more times. Up and back. Last one. When you come back, we're going to march. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. One, two, three, tap. 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 And instead of a tap, let's do a little kick. Oh, one, two, three, kick. One, two, three, kick. Kick. On that kick, let's reach the opposite arm out. Reach. 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 And instead of a kick, let's do a knee lift. One, two, three, knee. One, two, three, knee. Let's reach our arms up and pull down on that knee. Pull down. And pull. And pull. Pull, pull, pull. Then let's do just knee lifts. We pull and pull. Are we warming up? I hope so. I can actually see a few comments today. Probably still not all of them. So if you're just joining in, Facebook's in the process of changing the software we use to broadcast live video. And there's a whole bunch of glitches. Um, so I don't usually see all the comments until the live stream is over. So if you're asking a question or saying hi and I don't reply, that's why. I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see it. Four, three, two, march. Hello. Yeah. I know it's awful. Let's open our legs. A lot of reach, reach, reach. Did you want to leave again? Sometimes people ask why I don't just leave the door open, and that's because I need to know if a cat is entering or leaving, especially if they're entering from behind me. I don't want to trip over them. Four, three. Two, let's match. All right, let's get a quick drink. I'm going to turn off my extra light here because I think the light from the window is enough this morning. Hi, Marie. Hi, Sherry Ann. Hi, Sally. So,
So we'll come back. And I know it's not exciting, but we're going to do it. So we're going to glue down that one foot, opposite foot, taking a step up to the side, shifting your weight, and stepping back in. Did everybody see Spike, the Kempel mascot, last week doing these? <laughs> Rose. Oh, this cat. You can't get in the window. Y'all keep doing your shifting of your weight. I'll be right back. No. You can't go up there. <sighs> Toddlers, am I right? <laughs> So really taking the time to shift your weight out and in. We'll do two more. Last one. Then I'm going to turn to the side. You don't need to. Same foot. So going to step forward, shifting your weight forward. Step back, shifting your weight back. Do we do this every single week? Yes, we do. Because <laughs> it is really important. Need to keep that muscle memory nice and elastic. One more. And then we're going to combine the two. So I'm going to turn back to the front. We're going to come forward out to the side, back, and together. I just ran into the wall back there. Forward, to the side, back, and together. So don't worry about staying in time with me. Just go to a pace that feels good for you. Oh gosh, she's gone back over to that window. She's going to find herself kicked out real soon. It's because I'm in the basement and we just have those little half windows. Rose. One more time. And then we're going to change this up a little bit. You're going to put your weight in that stationary foot. Slight bend in the knee and the opposite leg taps. Front, side, back, together. Front, side, back, together. Or if you're feeling good, you can go do a full balance. Oh, jeez. Rose. One more time around, and then I'm going to go have to evacuate a cat. Let's march. Let's march. Rose. No. You can come back when you decide to be good. <laughs> All right, let's switch feet. And we'll step out to the side and in. Usually if she gets kicked out of a room for being bad once, when she comes back, she's good because she doesn't want to get kicked out again. But not always. <laughs> what can I tell you about today? Well, I got groceries last night. That's about all I have to say about that story. <laughs> they were out of orange juice. So that's <laughs> going to deal with the lack of orange juice this week. I know, the struggle is real. <laughs> Let's do two more. Last one. 
And then I'm going to turn to the side again. You can stay where you are. That same leg now steps forward, shifting your weight forward, stepping back. Now notice my other foot, the one that's not moving. The toes don't lift. The heel doesn't lift. Do two more, and then we're going to combine the two. So I'm going to turn back to the front. We come forward, side, back, and together. I've got all sorts of fuzz on my pants because on the weekend I did a whole lot of extra laundry. Like I washed a bunch of blankets and even like bath uh, mats. What's with bath mats? Why do they always like explode in the washer and dryer? <laughs> anyway, there's bath mat lint fuzz on everything, even things that were washed like three loads later. Hence the fuzz on my pants. But my mat's nice and clean. <laughs> Let's go around one more time. And then we'll put our weight in that stationary leg, slight bend in the knee, and tap front, side, back, together. Front, side, back, together. If you want, you can go into that balance. It's up to you. Oh. Two more times. Last one and we'll march. All right, if you want to grab a quick drink, you may, I certainly do. Hi, Tina, hi, Patricia, hi, Michelle. All right, we're gonna start back with our march. And then we're gonna take it to a side tap, so it's gonna go out together, out together, out together, out together. We can't leave our arms just hanging like this. We're going to push forward, push forward. Four, three, two, take it to a toe tap in front. But when we go to the front, our arms are going to go to the side. So when we do a side tap, our arms push forward. When we do a front tap, our arms go to the side. So let's go back to a side tap right here. Front tap. Four. Three, two, side tap. And front. Side. Front. And side. Front. Side. Let's do two of each, two to the front two to the side, and front, and side, and front, side, front. Let's keep going. Four, three, two more. Last one, and march. All right, everybody, we're going to give her her second chance. Let's see if she's good this time. <laughs> so I can't, I can't remember where I say things, but I don't think it was, I don't think it was this class. My husband and I had a big, a big conversation last week about how we determine 
if a cat was an assistant in a class. <laughs> and he said that as long as the cat was in the room during the class, they counted. And I said, I don't think so. I think they had to appear on camera at least once. Because Clara often sleeps through two or three classes in the run of a day without ever getting up. And then Jill said she thought if they sat on my lap, that's when they counted. Jill, she's a stickler. I think we're going to go with as long as they're seen on camera. So yesterday, I taught two classes in my paid groups. Clara attended one. Rose missed both, but now Rose is already here for one class today, so we'll see if she hits any others tonight. <laughs> All right, let's go to a toe tap. We're going to glue down our heels and tap our toes, so a little bit of a different toe tap than what we did before. She's already back over at that window. I wonder if their work hours should uh, be revoked if they have to be removed from the class. You shouldn't get paid if you have to be physically removed from the premises. Not that they get paid anyway. This is a whole nonsense conversation. But when you've been by yourself for five weeks, <laughs> largely, I do see my husband and my parents. Rose, keep going. No. You can march. You proved me wrong. You were bad again. Everybody loves you, but we can't have you distracting us every two minutes. Gosh, all right. Let's go to a heel dig. Heel and heel. Let's try and confuse you a little bit. <laughs> So we'll start just with an opposite arm doing a bicep curl. Nothing crazy. I have to decide how I want to confuse you. All right. So oftentimes we do single, single, double. This time we're going to do single, single, double, triple, two, one single single double triple single single double triple and with our arms we're going to reach forward double and triple. This one shouldn't be too bad because we're always doing the double on the same foot and always doing the triple on the same foot. Two singles, one double, one triple. But now we're going to switch it up. One single, one double, one triple. Single, double, triple. Single, double, triple, single, double, triple, single, double, triple. Are we doing okay? Not like I can hear your response, but we're going to do one more and march. Keep reaching your arm out because we're going to do a forward and up, forward and up, forward and up, forward and up. So we're going to get our arms on autopilot. Then we're going to add that single, double, triple back in. So we'll do a few more here. All right, let's add the foot. Single, double, triple. Single, double, triple. Single, double, <laughs> triple. Single, double, triple. Single, double, triple. One more time. 
single, double, triple, march. Get yourself a drink. Let me know in the comments how you did. Did you get confused with your arms or your feet on that combination? Or did you do okay? And we're going to go into a step touch. So step together, step together. So we're almost done, <coughs> excuse me, our cardio portion. And then we're going to do some strength. And then we'll stretch. And then we'll be done. Easy. With our arms, let's do it lateral raise. I had to stop and think what it was called. Then if you want, you can take a tempo. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, let's bring those arms down long, take this into a speed skate. So notice my foot's tapping behind instead of together, behind. Keep your chest lifted, abs engaged. Let's take it to the front. Arms cross and press back, press back, press back. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, march. All right, let's take it out a little bit wider. Bring it back in. Take it out. And in. Take it out. Bring it in. And out. And in. All right, we are going to get our weights. If you have a chair nearby, you can have a seat in that. I'm going to have a seat in a chair because we're going to be doing some overhead work. And if I'm standing, I'm going to hit the ceiling. So it's up to you if you want to sit or stand. I'm going to back right up here. I've got some light weights here. If you don't have any weights, you can just use a couple of bottles full of water or some soup cans or something of that nature. I'm going to bring our hands up and relax our fingers. And we're going to press up and down. So there's still some confusion as to where people find this Tuesday morning class and the Friday afternoon yoga class. I've, <laughs> I've tried to explain it many times. Anyone who gets my weekly emails, at the bottom the schedule has direct links. It will bring you right to the right place for the Tuesday morning class and the Friday yoga class. Both happen directly in the Fitness with Susie online Facebook event. I try to share it in a couple of places, but that is where it is hosted, is within the event. So if you're ever looking for it, that's where you look. If you get there before me, you won't see it. So you have to wait until just about time for class to start. You should get a notification, but you don't always, because Facebook is like that, but it's right within the event page. Two more. The last one. 
And we're going to bring our arms down. We're going to do a bicep curl. We lift and we lower. It never fails. Just as class starts, I get people tagging me in comments or sending me messages or sending me emails asking me where they can find the class. And you guys, I don't see those. I am busy trying to get the class started. So if you email me or message me or tag me on Facebook five minutes or less before class starts, I'm not going to see it until class is over because it takes me at least five minutes to get everything set up. So if you don't know where to find a Tuesday morning or a Friday afternoon yoga class, your best bet is to contact the town of Kempfel because unlike me, Ashley is not trying to teach the class and she is there ready and able to help people find them. So if you cannot find it any time, there is phone number and email right on the event page and you can always contact her. But it happens for almost every class I teach virtually. Someone messages me right at the time the class starts and I, I'm not answering messages while teaching, believe it or not. <laughs> so that's not going to help you at all. But if you do get my weekly email, all you have to do is scroll down to the bottom where my schedule is and I've added links directly to the pages. So let's do two more. Last one. And then we're going to sit one weight down. You can sit on the floor. I'm just going to put mine on my lap. And you're going to bring your elbow up to shoulder level. Weight is right up by your shoulder. You're going to extend out and in. So this is working our tricep. But it's a little bit of a kinder way to work our tricep because we're not having to work over our head. We'll do two more. And then we're going to switch sides. So again, hand at shoulder level, elbow at shoulder level, and we come out and in. So things that people often do wrong here is they do this or they do this, but we want to go straight out and straight in. Two more. And then we're going to get our two weights back. We're going to do another set of overhead presses. So we press. If the weights get to be too heavy, just sit them down and continue without any weight in your hand. Keep going. I'm going to get this itchy eyebrow. Now I have an itchy forehead. Four more. Three, two, oh, one, and then we'll come down into that bicep curl. So sitting nice and tall. Don't leave slunching back in your chair. Sit nice and tall. Two more. And then we'll put one weight down and our tricep extension. And then we're going to switch arms. Go out and in. Two more. Last one. 
And then we're going to do a little bit more shoulder work, but we're going to work on our medial deltoid. So we're going to bring our arms down by our side. We're going to bend our elbows. We're going to lift and lower. If this feels too easy for you, just lengthen your arm and come with a long arm. But we're still only lifting the shoulder level. Instinctively, people always want to go up higher, but we don't want to put more pressure on our, el or our shoulder than necessary. Keep those shoulders relaxed. Two more. Last one. And then we're going to turn our palms so our palms are facing one another. And we're going to do a hammer bicep curl. So it's bringing the blunt edge or the small edge of your weight or bottle or can towards your shoulder. Just changes the way we're working that muscle group a little bit. Two more. Last one. And then you can choose to hold on to your weights or you can set them down. We're going to do some sit to stand. So if you were standing through that last portion, I'm going to get you to take a second to go find yourself a chair or something nice and sturdy that you're going to be able to sit on. And we're all going to come forward to the front half of our chair, making sure that our legs are at 90 degrees or less. If you're holding on to your weights, you're going to hold them at shoulder or at chest level. And we're going to stand up and we're going to sit down. And you're going to press evenly through both of your feet. Don't worry about going in time with me. Just go at a pace that feels good for you. But don't try to go faster than me. Because sometimes people start doing this and they are losing out on. The whole purpose is that higher end and that low end. So if you're making it faster, you're just going to work through that middle range of motion. And we want this to be a functional exercise. So pressing through your heels. Let's do a couple more. And then we're going to finish standing. And if you're holding weights, you can sit those down. We're going to do some calf raises. So holding on to a wall, chair, anything that you need. A little bend in the knee. We lift up onto the toes and down. We lift and lower. And then if you feel up to it, you can lift one foot and go into a one leg calf raise. And then we're going to switch sides. One more. And then we're going to step right back into a calf stretch. So bring that heel right to the floor. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. We're going to do our standing stretches before we sit back down. That way we can stay sitting for the rest of class. And we'll switch sides. Front knee has a bend in it, back heel's on the floor. You want to feel a stretch through the back of the back leg and the calf muscles. Then we're going to step in, and then we're going to step back with both feet, hinging at the hip, keeping your head above your heart, low back stretch.
slowly step in. And we're going to come into a quadricep stretch. So grabbing onto your ankle, sock, pant leg, shoelace. Or if you can't get a hold of any of those, just placing your foot right on the seat of your chair will work as well. A little bend in your standing knee. And we switch sides. And then we're going to bring the leg down and we're going to have a seat. So put your weights away. They're in your way. And we're going to sit still towards the front half of our chair. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips. Legs are at 90 degrees or less and together. And we're going to open and close. So tomorrow is going to be an interesting day for me. I am taking a 10 hour yoga training virtually. And because it is a <laughs> course that is being hosted, hosted on the West Coast, <laughs> my course doesn't actually start until noon, but then it means that it also goes until 10 p.m. <laughs> tomorrow night. So it's going to be an interesting day. One more. And then we're going to bring our elbows in. We're going to close and open. So I'm hoping that the lunch break sort of lines up with supper. Understand when you're doing things like this, courses, I mean, lunch doesn't always happen right at noon. So it could happen anytime between 11 their time and like 1 30 their time. Who knows? <laughs> so who knows when I'm going to eat. But I'm going to have to plan for a slow cooker meal, that's for sure. But it should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm especially excited that <laughs> I don't have to get up at like 5.30 to get there. Because normally when I do regular yoga trainings, I have to get up around 5.30 in the morning to be on site for 7.30. So I'm excited that I don't have to do that. One more. And then we'll bring our hands down, feet come together, and we're going to open and keep heel toeing until you can't go any further. Then you're going to bring it back in. So my course tomorrow, if you're wondering, I know I've mentioned it a few places, is I'm taking a yoga nidra course, which is a form of meditation. It's yogic sleep. So it's very restful on the body, and it's very helpful for helping people overcome and deal with stress and trauma. So... That's a very fitting time for me to do that. I have done some yoga nidra training in the past in my um, courses for using yoga to tr balance the nervous system. But it'll be fun to take a whole day and learn more about the brain and, and all of that. So that's what I'll be doing tomorrow. Which means everybody's getting used to seeing me almost every day of the week. You're not going to see me tomorrow because I'm going to be in my course all day. Next time you get your feet in, go ahead and stay there. And we're going to do those toe taps. Now that we're sitting, we don't have to worry about falling over. So we can lift the toes a little bit taller, higher. But I also want you to sit nice and tall. It's especially nice that I get to do this yoga nidra, tr nidra training because it is one that hasn't come to the land of Canada that I know of in recent years, so I would have had to travel to like Boston or Toronto to get it. But because they've gotten approval from the Yoga Alliance to do some trainings online, I'm able to do it without leaving my house, which is very nice. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of space between our feet, flat hands to the outside of our knees. You're going to lift up the inside of your ankle without letting those knees move. I know, easier said than done. I know we talk about it a lot, but these exercises here are especially important right now when most of us aren't out 
in a boat like we normally are walking on different terrains and we're just kind of stuck in our houses it's easier for the muscles of our ankle to atrophy i'm going to sneeze <coughs> goodness <laughs> So these are especially important so that when we do get to go back out in the world, we're not like baby uh, cows, like on our spindly little legs falling everywhere. Let's make two fists, put them between our knees, a little bit more space between your feet, and we're going to lift up the outside of our shoes. Now remember, this is a very small movement. It looks like I'm moving my feet a lot, but I've been doing this every week for like 12 years. So Oh, I have a lot of practice and even still my feet don't move that much but they probably feel like they're moving a lot more than yours might be don't worry about it as long as you're even getting a little bit of movement there you're doing great work as long as you're here at all you're doing great work even if you're just sitting there watching eating popcorn let's do two more Last one, and then we're going to scooch back in our chair. I'm going to move this darn mic pack of mine. We're going to lift one foot. You're going to flex and point to toe. Let's take a look at our time here. We're doing good. We're doing good. And then we'll switch feet. Flex and point. Flex and point. And then we're going to go back to the first foot, and we're going to do some ankle circles. And the other direction. And we'll switch feet. Other way. And then we're going to bring the foot down. We're going to bring that first leg back up. This time, this movement is going to initiate from our hip. We're going to do a windshield wiper, but it's your whole leg that's moving, not just your foot. So your knee should be moving as well as your foot, working through external and internal rotation. And one last one, and then we'll switch sides. Make sure it's that whole leg. I know for me, this leg is a lot less interested in doing the rotations. It's kind of like she's a little bit rusty in there. And relax. Okay, let's come forward in our chair again. We're going to extend a one leg. You're going to put the heel of the opposite foot on the laces, drawing up to the knee and down. Can you use your hands to guide you? You may. And then we're going to come into a seated stretch. So crossing your ankle over your shin, keeping that extended leg, the foot flexed. If without using your hands, you can lift the leg and bring it above the knee, you may. Same thing, if without using your hands, you can bring the leg right up. It's all the same stretch, just different variations of. So find the one that works for you. And we're gonna be here for about a minute. So trying to sit nice and tall. Don't let yourself get all slouchy, slouchy. Remember to breathe. We want to keep this foot flexed regardless of where it is, whether it's here, here, or here. Keeping the foot flexed keeps the muscles of the lower leg active, helps protect your knee. Well, I'll tell you a couple of things. <laughs> I ordered coffee a week ago Sunday, a week ago Sunday. And I just got the email yesterday that they shipped it. People, I am down to four coffee pods. This is getting serious. So I hope, 
that it doesn't take them long to get it. I'm glad I didn't wait any longer than I did. I ordered when I still had like 14 coffee pods, but you know, there was a couple serious days last week where I had to have more than one cup of coffee. And I don't know. I'm, I'm quite concerned. <laughs> and then the other thing is I ordered some cheese last week. And I can't wait for it to arrive either. All right, let's switch legs. We're going to extend the opposite foot. Heel on the laces, drawing up and down four times. And then we're going to cross the ankle over the shin. If without using your hands, you can bring it up above the knee or bend the knee, you certainly may. I'm really excited about that cheese though. I'm not that worried about the coffee because if I run out of coffee pods, I do have a big canister of ground coffee. The world's not going to end. But I ordered it directly from Nespresso. It's not like they have anything else to ship. It's just coffee. So apparently everybody must be running out of coffee and that's why they're so far behind. Who knows? Because Amazon right now, if you order from Amazon, they tell you that they are putting things in priority. So if you're ordering like household food, toilet paper, things of that nature, I think you get it faster than if you're like ordering batteries, which I ordered last week, which really was a household necessity for me in this darn mic pack. But they arrived they arrived just in the nick of time. I did have to steal a pair of batteries from a remote control for a few hours, <laughs> but then the batteries arrived. So, but if it's coffee, that's all they sell is coffee. Anyway, I'm just trying to fill time basically is what's happening here. So I'm sorry that you have had to listen to my ramblings. Well, I'm not really sorry. <laughs> Cause you could turn it off anytime you want. All right, let's bring the leg down, and we're going to start with some shoulder rolls. I do sort of feel like it is my job to just have a fairly consistent stream of rambling while I do these to, you know, make you feel like you had a conversation with somebody outside of your house today. <laughs> One more, then we'll reach across the front. But the funny thing is, I don't really feel like I have had a conversation with anybody, even though you may feel like you've had a conversation with me, you know? Anyway. It's a weird time we're living in. That's, that's all that needs to be said. Let's reach back, tricep stretch. We'll open this door just in case. Somebody wants to come back. And we'll switch sides, shoulder stretch. So aerobic exercise is really important right now because we're a lot less active. But I think that flexibility and stretching is equally as important because it's so easy for us to just kind of get in a spot in our favorite chair or coach or wherever and our posture is probably not the best and muscles start to get over tightened and they don't get stretched so I think it's really important that we spend a little extra time stretching in our classes right now to make sure that we're keeping everything nice and loose Let's reach up and over. And we'll switch sides. Back up nice and tall, deep breath in, exhale, turn, look one direction. Slowly back to the front, inhale, exhale, look the other way. Slowly back to the front. We're going to extend one leg, a little bend in the knee, same arms leg. Extends, reaching forward until you feel a stretch along the back of the leg. And then you can relax your arm. 
Keep lifting those toes. And then we'll switch sides. So flexing that foot, little bend in the knee, same arm reaches forward and then relax down. Keep those shoulders relaxed, jaw relaxed. And we'll slowly come up, lower one ear towards the shoulder. If you want, you can flex the opposite hand. Slowly lift into the other side. Gently lift, chin lowers towards the chest. Slowly lift back up. We're going to lower it down to one ear. Slowly towards the chest. To the other shoulder. And gently just rocking back and forth. That half circle. If you find an area that's really quite tight, feel free to stay there and breathe for a couple seconds. And then gently lift the head up. We're going to reach back. If you have a back on your chair, you can grab the back of your chair. If not, you're just going to reach energetically through your fingertips. And we're going to open up through our chest. And gently relax. Make a fist. Grab onto the fist. Round through your back. Lower your arms. Sit up tall, lace your fingers, press the palms away. And then I'm going to scoot closer as we do our last few exercises for our finger dexterity. So we're going to take each finger touching to our thumb, trying to make roundish circles. And then the same thing with straight fingers. And then we're going to bring our hands up, front or back, doesn't matter. We're going to start at our pinky. We're going to squeeze our pinky finger and our ring finger together. Ring finger, middle finger, middle finger, pointer finger, pointer and thumb. And then we go the opposite direction. So we're doing little finger scissors. And then give your hands a little shake. Then we're going to bring our palms together. We're going to lower down just as far as you can, keeping the whole hand together. And then the backs of the hands together, lifting up just as far as you can, keeping the whole back of the hand together. So when you feel your hands start to pull apart, you're just going to lower down a little. And a few wrist circles. And then we'll try that trickier one. So pointer finger and thumb, ring finger and thumb, and you're going to try and go in opposite directions at the same time. So we've already done one finger at a time, so I know that you can do it. So now it's trying to get your brain to allow you to go in two directions at once. And really, it's not that difficult. The problem is when we start to overthink it that's when it becomes <laughs> a problem. So if you're finding this really sh a struggle, 
probably you you might be a bit of an overthinker I mean I'm not gonna label you but it's one of those things that if you can do one hand and then the other really there's not any reason why you shouldn't be able to do both but some of those neural pathways get short-circuited because we don't do them. All right, let's give our hands a little shake. Nice deep breath in and exhale. And again, deep breath in and out. And one last time. And my friends, we are finished. So a reminder, Tuesday mornings and Friday afternoons for yoga, we are right here in the Fitness with Susie online Facebook event. And if you get here before me, you're not going to see it because I haven't started it yet. So if you get here like five minutes early and you don't see it, just keep refreshing the page until it shows up. Um, but if you can't find it, write in the event. There is an email address and a phone number you can call if you can ever not able to find the class and Ashley will be able to direct you no problem. So don't send me a message at the last minute. I'm not going to be able to help you, but she can. All right, that is it for this morning's class. I hope you had a good time. Let me know in the comments if you had a hard time with that single, single, no, single, double, triple. And I will be replying to comments later because I only ever saw like three. So anyway, have a great rest of your day. Bye.